Today, the night of 27, right? The night of 27, <coughs> Jumhur al Sahaba, the majority of Sahaba, they said that Laylatul Qadr is the night of 27. And uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas would say Laylatul Qadr is night of 27. And many scholars, they chose that opinion that Laylatul Qadr is night of 27. But we mentioned before that the accurate opinion from the scholars and from the Sahaba radiallahu anhum that even the narrations that said it's night of 27 that is was for a specific years not in general not in general because the Sahaba they attended with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as authenticated in Bukhari and Muslim that Laylat al-Qadr one time it was night of 20 21 and came 25 in the Sahih and came 23 and came 27 all this came in the time of the Prophet so it's changing it is changing and uh, one of our brothers told me today yesterday first time to know that Laylat al-Qadr is changing when I came to Japan <laughs> in his country the, it's fixed 27 <laughs> okay and that is one opinion but I'm not saying that is something bidah or wrong that is one opinion for some scholars but the more accurate is Laylat al-Qadr is changing Laylat al-Qadr is changing so what is the authentic sign for Laylat al-Qadr that there is no barking of dogs Sun rising, sun Some said Laylat al Qadr has no barking, has no barking so there is, for the dogs. No huh? dogs, no barking. Huh? The country does have no dogs. And, dogs. If, uh, and if someone has has dogs, <laughs> some people they were thinking from the signs that no barking for the dogs. Okay. So he was waiting every night, barking. <laughs> Next night, barking, barking until the end of the road. <laughs> then, of course, that is not a sign. That is not a sign, of course. What else from the common misconceptions? Hmm? Sorry? Light, listen, rainfall. Rain, yeah, rain is not is not a a sign. It's something like you can say, huh? <laughs> yeah, something supporting that mercy from Allah coming, but not not a sign that definitely if there is rain, then it's Laylat al Qadr. You know, that is not definitely. I want something definitely, definitely. This sign, if we saw it, this is Laylat al Qadr, no doubt. No rising, confusion. Rising sun, sun, sun rays. Rays. Yes. Sun rays. Yes. That is the only sign and it's after the night. <laughs> so there is no sign in the night. It's this that's why you have to do your best in all the night. Because the only authentic sign is the sunrise. That Laylat al Qadr, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned. That day after it, it finished by Fajr, right? After that, by one hour, <coughs> when the sun rises, at the sunrise time, not, not all the day, the sunrise time, when it rises, no rays. 
it's like the moon. You see the full moon? You see that? Who saw the sun after Laylat al Qadr before? So many times. Huh? But it was not, not sure about it. Was no, no, I want someone saw the sun exactly when it was Laylat al Qadr. I saw someone. Upload. I saw the picture. Okay, upload. We all saw the picture. Maybe it was moon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we don't know. It's moon. They say to take it viral, you know. No, I want someone saw. No one, saw, no one saw the sun before. Pictures we can know. I think if someone make uh, Qiyam online, he, he don't have uh, enough power. <laughs> Good no, no, this is no power, but the problem is in, in Egypt, actually, in Egypt, we use most of the brothers that are making a takaf, most of the people around me, but some brothers, they were not making a takaf. Every day we request them, while going back, we sit until sunrise, the sheikh was giving lesson, and then after sunrise, I mean around sunrise, they would go to high place, and check. Alhamdulillah, in Egypt it's very clear, you can see the sun. So, and they will take the pictures. And they will see by themselves. Laylat al-Qadr, very different. You'll find most of the days like orange, or reddish, and has some rays, strong. But Laylat al-Qadr, subhanAllah, between like very light yellow to white, the sun, with no rays, very nice very uh, simple and clear sun you can look at it without any problem that is like the qadr but it was before <laughs> Allah's finished okay so definitely this sun it was seen moving changing not not 27 sometimes it came 21 23 <coughs> where even sometimes came 24 26 maybe that this year, Allah Alam, it was Ramadan was 30. Maybe it was different in the starting of the of the month. So we have to ask each other if someone, if some, if someone didn't say the science of. Science. We are in the most east of the world. The people can ask us from the from the Gulf, <laughs> from Egypt, Saudi, or from more west. They can ask us, did you see the sun? <laughs> then we can tell them it was yesterday. <laughs> Catch, still you have a few hours. <laughs> We can help them, but we are not helping them. <laughs> Anyhow, so that is the only authentic sign about Laylat al-Qadr, okay? There are some other things, but you cannot distinguish 100%. Some believers can feel it. That Laylat al-Qadr, different. You feel different feelings. Yusuf. <laughs> so, some other signs, like for example, in Laylat al-Qadr, numerous angels come down, right, on earth. So the believers, they feel something different. If you are surrounded by angels everywhere, you feel something different. And as well, the sky is different. Why the sky is different? Allah said that this night is salam, peace. So why the sky is different? No fighting? No jinn, no... Star Wars? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no star shooting and these No star shooting, why? Because... Huh? Filled with angels. Filled with angels. Yeah, and the sky, you will find it, subhanAllah, very clear, and you cannot find star shooting, because the devils, the satans, they cannot make any harm, they cannot make any uh, disturbance. So this, uh, not everyone can distinguish. That's why I told you it's only one sign that everyone can, everyone can distinguish. But if you didn't get used to see the sun after Laylat al-Qadr, you will be confused. Maybe you will see the sun, say, ah, this sun is very nice, I like it. But after two or, th or four nights, you say, nah, that is different. That because this is the best I saw. That's why till the end of Ramadan, you have to check and you compare the best sun, you'll find it different. You'll find it different. Okay. قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ 
تحاور كما A lady, Muslim lady, came to the Prophet ﷺ complaining from her husband. Right? What her husband used to do? <laughs> Who knows what the husband used to do? He said, uh, my daughter something? My daughter. No, no. Yes, yes, this one. My daughter. This one? Yeah, this one. That is, he was old Muslim, old man. But he would like treat her badly in the daytime and tell her, you are like, go away. You are like my mother. Like my mother means... Yeah. No, relation. no, they have. Not like... No no desire. Not desire. Yes, no desire. I don't have desire and you go away. Then he spent his, his time with his friends out. Okay? And come at night. Come, I want you for, for myself. What's this? <laughs> she was very hurt. This is impossible, you know? So he went, went to the Prophet Sallallahu complaining from him. And the Prophet Sallallahu will tell her, Fear Allah, ittaqillah, go back to your husband, treat him properly, be patient for your husband, take care of him. The Prophet Sallallahu is saying like this, Aisha was saying, I was just one wall between them and me. I cannot hear what they're saying. Aisha is sitting like this, maybe a few meters, three, four meters, they are speaking, she cannot hear. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayat about their discussion in details. Allah. Allah is hearing from above seven heavens what they are saying exactly. And Aisha three meters cannot hear. How will be your iman when this happens? You know? For example, now Nadim Bai will tell Siraj Bai something. We cannot hear him. Okay? Then after a few hours, Allah reveals the Quran saying what they were talking about. How, how, how this will affect our Iman? How we will fear Allah after that? That Allah is hearing everything, listening everything, observing, watching everything. That's why their Iman was so high, the Sahaba. Then, of course, Allah spoke about this uh, big sin and the harm that is a very bad sin that a Muslim tells his wife you are like my mother or sister this cannot happen from a Muslim if he doesn't like her divorce her but don't say like this this is hurting her okay and the punishment is to have what two consecutive months fasting if he cut even by one day he has to start from 60 days after that, I just pick up a few comments. After Surah Qad Samia, Mujadala or Al Mujadila, Kilahum. Now, Badaha, Surah Al Hash. Yes, Surah Al Hash has very, very uh, high meanings in, in, in the relation of people in the society, in fixing the Muslim society. Look, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said للفقراء المهاجرين الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم وأموالهم يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا وينصرون الله ورسوله أولئك هم الصادقون Allah mentioned the three categories of the Sahaba First category is المهاجرين The immigrants of Mecca And those how they suffered and how they faced a lot of torture and hardships for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to build up Islam. That's why they have very high superiority and level, al-muhajirin, Quraysh people. Those who believed in the Prophet ﷺ under the severe punishment and torture in Mecca. Then the second category came after that. The first one, Allah said, أُولَئِكَ هُمْ الصَّادِقُونَ Allah called them the truthful ones. Very truthful because they chose Islam not for any worldly purpose. They chose Islam for the sake of Allah. And they faced terrible things. And this, they kept on the deen. They stood fast on the deen. <coughs> second category is what? وَالَّذِينَ تَبَوَاءُ الدَّارَ وَالْإِيمَانَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ الْأَنصَارِ Medina people. يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ they love those who migrated to them. 
يحبونه من هذا. and this is not easy. you know most of people now I don't want to mention nationalities, but you can understand. If you are working in, in some countries as a stranger or a, a resident, not, an, not a, a person from this nation, usually they think that you are coming to compete them in the risk and coming to take from their goodness Allah gave them. And they will not treat you, treat you with the same level they are treating the citizens. They will make differentiation in the rights. Allah is saying about Al-Ansar, first, from their heart, they love the immigrants. They don't have nationalism. They don't have racial discrimination. They don't have humiliation for other nationalities. <coughs> and more than the love, يُحِبُّونَ مَنْ هَجْرَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا يَجِدُونَ فِي صُدُورِهِمْ حَاجَةً مِمَّا أُوتُوا وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَى أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصًا Imagine that every Ansari Sahabi was dividing his wealth with Al-Muhajiri. Imagine you are working for 20 years. Then you are lucky that a person you will make brotherhood with, the Prophet ﷺ was making brotherhood every two Sahaba together, one immigrant and one Ansari. If you are lucky, you came with a rich Ansari. He's working for 20 years, making big, big wealth. Then suddenly Rasulullah said, give him half of your wealth. What you will feel? Ah, okay. I will think about this then. <laughs> you will travel and <laughs> go away and leave this deal maybe. No, Ansar was so happy. Come and take half of my wealth and even if I'm married more than one, choose the one you like. I will divorce her after Idda, you get married to her. What's this? Unbelievable. This how the society was created by this wonderful, strong love and iman and strong uh, bonds between the Sahaba. So, this is how Al-Ansar, they had this high also level in Islam, high ranking, because of what they did with the Prophet Muhammad and what they did with Al-Muhajirin and they had bay'ah, the pledge with Rasulullah for death. We make bay'ah for you until death we will protect you. We will protect you and Islam until death. Nothing we can do more than this. We give all our wealth, all our family, our lands, our properties for the sake of Allah. And even our souls, we will give it for you. What can they give more than that? Radiallahu anhu, Al-Ansar. Al-Ansar, they gave all this support and they gave all this spending for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and after that they didn't take any Position. Positions or authorities. Because Rasulullah Sallallahu said, al aimmatu bin Quraysh. The Imams, the rulers should be from Quraysh. They are the, the most capable people to rule and to control. That's why they, Rasulullah Sallallahu was choosing them for the positions and authorities. Quraysh people. Okay? People of Mecca, immigrants. And people of Medina, they gave everything and they didn't take anything. Subhanallah. What is what are these wonderful hearts? That's why why Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said what? Al Imanu Yamanin Wal Fiqh Yamanin Wal Hikmatu Yamaniya. The Prophet Sallallahu was saying Al Iman is from people of Yemen because the Ansar is coming from Yemen originally. Wal Hikma Wal Fiqh Yamanin. The proper understanding of the deen is towards Yemen. And the wisdom is from Yemen because this was gathered in Al-Ansar radiyallahu anhu. The last category Allah mentioned. Huh? This is who came after Muhajirin al-Ansar. They are making dua for those who 
exceeded them or let's say those who came before them they love them first of all you should respect those who started this path before you you should respect those who worshipped Allah before you were born those who have exceeded the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than you by many long steps you should respect and make dua for them and love them that is the sign of your pure heart وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا Don't make in our hearts any hatred or something لِلَّذِينَ آمَنَا Towards the believers رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفٌ إِنَّكَ رَؤُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى نَعَمْ تَبِعِينَ الصَّحَابَ الصَّحَابَ اللَّهُمَّ مُسْلِمِينَ مُس التابعين و نعم تشمل لكن هي كمان نزلت في غير المهاجرين والانصار من مسلمة الفتح اه اللي هم اسلموا اللي هم موجود بعدهم بقى اي والله يفتح عليهم مسلمة الفتح وغيرهم وتشمل بقى التابعين واتباع التابعين الى الى ان تشملنا ان شاء الله لذلك يعني حب الصحابه من علامات الايمان نعم طبعا ذاتس واي لاف اوف الصحابه از فروم ذا ساينز اوف ايمان اوف كورس ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم said That whoever loves Al Ansar, that is a believer, and whoever hates Al Ansar, that's a munafiq. He cannot hate Al Ansar. How to hate Al Ansar? Radiallahu anhu. So.